Hey guys, we wanted to show you how we do some of our camping setups. This is my setup for the weekend. I've got the Slumberjack Roadhouse Tarp set up off the rack of my Jeep. Got the two poles in the back guide out and I have one, uh, one part of the tarp tied off to that tree where the one end of my hammock is. The other end of my hammock is tied to the rack. So let's take a step under and I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, so what I got going on right this weekend is I got the, if you can see up under there, the hammock is tied off to the rack. I got a strap on that and right here is a whoopee, a whoopee sling made by my friend Andy. He made me this, this set of whoopee slings and they're awesome. So I got that set up, a little pillow light for later on when it gets dark. Got my toggle in, bug net on my hammock. I got the air mattress already blown up. I use my onboard air, if you see this right here. I got an onboard air system right here on each one of my roll kit or on the roll bar. So quick, makes quick work of the air mattress. So I got my sleeping bag in there, got the bug net set up, guide it all out, and then I tied off the one end of the tree. So now I've got my hammock under this tarp and it's good to go for tonight and for the weekend. If I want to move my Jeep, we have two additional poles that we put on this side, clip it off of the Jeep, undo it from the whoopee sling right there, the hammock, pull it over here, put it on that tree, and now I can drive away. Or if I just want to, if I'm using, if I'm, if I'm doing like a solo trip or something, and it's raining, and I want to spend the day under the tarp cooking or sitting in my chair or whatever, I can just take my hammock off the whoopee sling real quick and put it over there on the tree, or vice versa, take it off the tree and go this way, and give myself a large area. This tarp, is fantastic. I've used this a couple times uh, out with the wife and, and out solo and it is really really nice. It gets us under there. Uh, her and I went camping and kayaking and we had a really nice time. It stormed. We're sitting under there. We were able to cook supper. We had our fridge. We had a picnic table under here uh, when we went camping. It was a really nice setup. So this is my weekend setup using one tree, hammock off the rack, using my slumberjack tarp, and we are going to have a blast. Let's take a look at uh, what I got running on this tailgate over here. So what I got going on on the tailgate, when I open up the back of the Jeep, I'm able to access a knife, which we have a molly sheath set up on this grill. This is a, a friend of mine, Paul Fortunato, showed me how to do this. He did it to his Jeep and I thought it was awesome. So I put the molly sheath right on there. I got a fire steel and a next gen. I got my machete readily accessible. I got some Dawn dishwashing liquid if I want to do some soap or quick uh, quick cleanup. This bag generally holds zip ties, um, my pillow lights, which you see here, here for later tonight. Also, the straps for my kayak are all in here. Got some tinder, uh, or I'm sorry, some char cloth in here and some Altoid tins if I need to make quick fire. I got a GNS right here with another fire steel uh, for airing up and airing down. I do have a um, air. Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> had to think of the name, sitting there. I got a couple hatchets sitting down behind this bag. This is where I keep my gloves, my winch controller, um, my DEET for my, my off, and also suntan lotion. So we're like when we're out kayaking, we got those things going on. So that's a nice setup. Got the roto packs on board with some water for the weekend, recovery gear in there, and then just general stuff that we're going to be using for the week. Hi guys, Nick here. This is my Jeep. Uh, I have it set up for the weekend here with a pretty simple little rig. Um, let's step around the back and take a look. So I also, like LT, am using the Roadhouse Tarp this weekend. I really like this. It's a really great piece of gear, very modular setup. It's great for any kind of function. So very simple setup. I've got my hammock here to a tree and then the roll bar in my Jeep. So I have full access. I like having my windows out all the time basically or as much as possible so this works great for me especially with such beautiful weather that we're having right now but then uh, you'll see I don't have any back seat so that gives me more room for storing some of my gear but this way I pretty much have a stock exterior and can do all this fun stuff with it so that's my setup. Scooter here man on the inside this is my setup for one man camping. Sometimes I haul a trailer if there's a bunch of us going, but just for this weekend, although it looks like a lot of stuff, more simple. <laughs> Here's the pantry. Jet boil for coffee, the Everest stove, the camp chef for cooking big stuff. That's the pantry box. The uh, camp chef table works fantastic. I can adjust the height of it. I like that a lot. 
In the bed is a bunch of other goodies. There's uh, some tools. Never know what you're going to need that wise. Recovery gears in one of these. Electrical fixing tools are in another case in the front of that. Clothing. Filson bag. <coughs> I do have a tent with me, but if it's nice out, I like to just throw the cot on the ground and sleep under the tarp. This is attached to partly the cap and part of the roof rack in the front of the truck. And uh, it's just a camp cot with a pad, nothing too fancy, but I like to sleep outside. It's very comfy. There's more goodies on this side of the... This is an alu cab, and one of the accessories you could put on here is this recovery box. So that's where I keep a bunch of recovery gear. There's a hitch mount for a strap, tree strap, yank strap, some loppers for clearing branches and whatnot, tire deflator, a bunch of extra stuff so that if I need to get some tools out of the bed, I'm not messing with this. Or if I need this real quick, I just open a side door and there it is. On the uh, inside of the truck, I fold the seat down, this is where the cooler is, and on the back of the headrest I got some Blue Ridge Overland gear bags full of more Bugot gear. Uh, up in the front I have some mounts for the phone and an iPad which I use for mapping. It's a stick shift truck, nothing too fancy. That's about it on the inside. There's a small uh, Uniden radio up on the dashboard. This product here is from Overland Solar, and it's their smaller solar panel. That folds out, obviously. You put it on the ground or put it on your tarp. The setup on the bottom is able to be plugged right into a trailer if your trailer is set up for solar. But it also has a USB port on it, so I'm charging the iPad right now so we can film later. Really nice, robust unit. Very heavy duty. Really good piece of gear. Hey guys, Sam here out camping down at the farm for the weekend. I'm here set up in a hammock this weekend. It's a little different than my normal setup. I don't have the other truck, so not running a rooftop tent this time. I got my war bonnet, bonnet strung up here between a couple trees and just running a tarp over top of it. Of course, I got some carpet underneath so I don't get everything dirty. And then we'll go over here and start looking at the truck. So as you can see, I don't have the normal Tacoma this weekend. I'm running the new FJ. I just got a couple weeks ago. So there's not a whole lot of stuff on it. Still waiting on stickers and stuff, but I did have a chance to put on the high vis Land awning. I got it bolted to the rack, and uh, of course there's some camp chairs sitting here. That's about all that's on the side though. Let's move over to the back. So I got the, I was given the, the job of keeping both fridges cold this weekend, so they're both in the back of the FJ. I got the solar panel run out, chasing the sun around. And they're all hooked up to the Dometic uh, PLB battery. It's tucked in there behind the fridges. There's some other miscellaneous camping stuff in there. Of course I got a Blue Ridge uh, first aid kit mounted to the headrest. Still a bunch of other stuff that's got to be put in here, but that's about the extent of the truck so far. And then over here we have our kitchen set up with our two scottles, primus stove, some tables. Gives us all the space we need to make everything we got. Oh, we got and it. yeah, our kitchen knives are hanging right there. Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, got the single guy set up this weekend. Uh, don't have the wife and the dogs with me, so uh, the truck is pretty much set up for gear and uh, got the uh, Alpine Mountaineering table, got my bike with me this weekend. Uh, everything in the Pelican case is my kitchen setup, but it also works great as a step to get in and out of the truck. Uh, I've got my Dometic fridge in the back, plugged into a battery pack, and I also have my uh, Reliance water jug with a faucet on the top if I need running water. And setup for me is really simple. Got a uh, Trek Light gear hammock and uh, Eno tarp. Real basic, simple setup for me. Trusted around the globe. From survival to camping to everyday carry. Lifetime warranty. Quality is in our name. I hate videos so much.